Divine Strategies for Success. It's Biblical Principles for Success in Life. Pastor Rob Yannick wrote this book, released it. When was this book written? 2003. And now you've got one coming out that sounds like kind of the reverse. What happens when you don't see that success? What happens when all of a sudden success is fleeting and it's gone or you, you, you tried it, you knocked down, I quit. Well, I, I, I realized in stories that I've read and, and you know, heard about, um, there's always been failures on the road to success. And I found out that everybody gets knocked down. So this, the new book it's is not about, instant. It's not instant, <laughs> no. And the new book is about what to do, how to get up when life knocks mm -hmm. you down. Because life knocks you down, whether in business, finances or in your relationships and what do you do so that's what the book is about and in the first chapter I talk about everybody falls yeah. everybody gets knocked down that's so easy when we do get knocked down I mean you, especially when you, you've tried and you've tried hard and it's not your fault that success didn't didn't come I mean you, you, you've, you've tried you've you've done these things and there's no success and so it's just easy to say I'll go on with my life someplace else I mean, I'll, I'll just try something else. Why do I need to get back up? Well, that's where we need tenacity and courage and perseverance and faith mm -hmm. to, to, to realize, okay, I have failed. Maybe my business failed. Maybe I have a failed marriage. But that doesn't mean I'm a failure. What if it's not my fault? Oh, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's not. It, a lot of times failure is, failure comes to us a couple different ways. One, people make decisions and it causes us to fail. Mm -hmm. Two, I make dumb decisions <laughs> and I fail. You know, maybe I didn't lead the business right or maybe um, I didn't treat my wife right. You know, but so it's, it's twofold. Mm -hmm. It's not always our fault and sometimes it is our fault. But even if it is our fault, Bob, we still can recover. We still can bounce back. Just because we strike out doesn't mean we're not going to get another bat. So where do you get that inside of you to say, okay, I'm, it's, it's, I'm at the nine count. I, I either got to get up or roll over and play dead. Where, what comes up inside of you? What, where do you get that energy, that, that stamina to, to get back up and maybe take another shot in the jaw? From the past training and faith and, the, and uh, realizing I have trained for this. So yes, if you start a business and it fails, uh, that doesn't mean the business is over. It's like Thomas Edison, yeah. you know, 10,000 ways the light bulb didn't work. Mm -hmm. He figured out these are 10,000 ways it didn't no. work. He didn't look at it as failure. He looked at it as progress. progress. Mm -hmm. So we have to change our philosophies and our beliefs about success and failure. Failure is just, listen, success never happens without failure. That's, that's, that's a good point. You, you don't even know what success is until you failed a couple of times and say, I'm, I, I don't want to do this again. Exactly. Well, think about in the area of sports. A team wins and a team loses, but the following year, it could be switched. Mm -hmm. You know, that doesn't make who you are. Just because I always tell people failure is an event. Mistakes are an event. It's just something that happens. But God can turn those around and really give you miracles, mm -hmm. really give you um, extraordinary success. And, and here's the key, if you learn from them. That's a major, major, major thing. If, if I can look at my failure. I'm not going to do this again. Yeah. If I can look at my failure or my mistake and say, huh, I'm going to learn from that, then you didn't fail. It taught you something. It educated you. It's just the classroom of life. Mm -hmm. Now, what if the failure does involve somebody else? Whether it involves, I mean, you failed, and in that failure, you've damaged a relationship, whether it's your wife or your children or a business partner. How do you reconcile that? How do you, how do you go back and say, okay, I, I, I want to start this again, yeah. when they've been hurt, and they may not want it, Get, be part of your success your you success. have to admit i blew it you have to say you have to say mm -hmm. I, it's my fault or this what happened i'm sorry this happened and you've got to repent and there there needs to be forgiveness sometimes it takes a while right. but i think the person being honest and admitting the mistake is the first mm -hmm. step to healing you know, I deal with people all the time who have made grave moral failures. I, I've dealt with businessmen who they've made wrong decisions and their businesses mm -hmm. had failed. And I have coached these guys because some of them wallow 
in, in guilt and condemnation for that failure and, you know, because the state of people's salaries and benefits are online, you know. Sure. Toys R Us just shut down 28,000 people without a job, you know. And um, there's probably some conviction in that of some of those leaders, sure. especially when they got uh, the private equity firms gave them um, $8 million, mm -hmm. you know, as a little parachute. They, they shut it down, yeah. yeah. Shut, yeah. Um, but uh, I think we have to forgive ourselves and we have to learn from it and, not, and try not to go back and do the same thing that we did. Right. The new book, where can they get it? They'll be able to get it on uh, Amazon and mm -hmm. they'll be able to get it on robyanock.com. If you'd like more information about Jesus Christ or how to connect to a local church, go to our website or Facebook page. We have a lot more resources there that we can connect you with. Plus, I'd like to hear from you.